This is Gooden Cash with Rifle TV in association with Macklin's Gym Marbella. We're in the hole here for Rumble on the Humber. With me, I've got Daddy Cole. Uh, bitterly disappointed tonight for your, for your son tonight. Yeah, bitterly disappointed. Cogs, when he, when he got on his chest, he just didn't quite throw the shots. But not taken away from Luke Campbell. What a class act. But I still think there's a bit more learning from Tommy. I, mean, I don't think he'll chuck it. I think he'll, he'll push himself down and I think he'll go again. I think he'll just come across somebody was going to be a bit of a spectacle in boxing. I mean, there was a lot of talk, obviously, in the build-up to this fight, but it comes down to two men. You said it yourself, the best man will win on the night. Yeah. And, and Luke Campbell was was just that little bit better than your son on Get the night. Get your favourite word. Um, I couldn't, couldn't disagree with anything you've said there. Listen, um, when, it, when it comes to being a cheerful man, Colgate, the kid was different class. No, no doubt about it. But I just think if Tom would have fixed, see how this has been taken in, in in any of his fights, I think, and I think he, he should he should admit that. But knowing the kind of kid, he won't admit that. So because I think he's a bigger dick than what Tom will ever be. So there you are. I've said it. He called my lad a dick. I think he's a fucking big dick personally. But listen, obviously. They had the well, fight. They went cool. ten. They, listen, they went ten rounds, and like I said, they shook hands at yeah, the end. Yeah, and, and, uh, and, and that's that's over with and now. Listen. And obviously, your boy's gutted. You can tell in there. He's obviously not in the mood for anything at the moment. Nah, but get get that cool, guy. On a on a on a boxing, on, on boxing, the lad outboxed my lad. Could never ever complain about a not like that. But he's not a dick. Your son said, obviously, after the fight that, you know, he's a domestic at best, but, you know, surely... I think he's maybe a bit more than that. Yeah, I think Eddie Hearn said that as well. It was a bit harsh on him to yeah. say that to himself, but he's in that kind of mood where he's going to have a defeatist attitude at the moment, but there are going to be big fights for him, uh, regardless so. of tonight. I, I hope so, Cogs, because I think I'd miss you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you've got married now, Cogs, and things are going to sound as all the rosy at home. You've got yourself in a bit of shape. I don't need to spend nights at the camp a mile anymore. Yeah. Can you just yeah. make an apology yeah, for some of your well, remarks, please, Daddy Cole? Because well, you could have got me in trouble. The camp a mile is a very, very peculiar place, love, if you're listening. But actually, it behaved yourself, love. Thank there you. There were chances he could have strayed, but there were some bad ones in there that night, love. Even a bit bad for me and Cokes. <laughs> so we never bothered, love. <laughs> we slept together. Daddy Cole, listen, it's been a pleasure. Cool. Like always a pleasure. Like and the like best please. man won on the night. It's very noble of you to say, so thank you very much. Thank you, Cole. Cheers, mate.